everyone, it's Michelle here or Mish Crafts and it's back to school. So for back to school, I'm going to show you guys how to make your very own DIY squishy paper clips. So the materials that you will be needing are some foam, white puffy paint, acrylic paints, some scissors, a variety of paint brushes, popsicle sticks and some toothpicks, a little container to mix your paint in, Elmer's school glue and super glue, and of course some paper clips. I'm going to start off with the pencil design, so taking some rectangular foam, I'm going to cut down one side into a point like so. This was optional, but if you want, you could trim down the tip so that it wouldn't look too sharp. Now on the other end, I'm going to round off the edges. Now for the eraser part of the pencil, I'm going to be mixing white puffy paint along with some pink and red acrylic paints. And just paint it on like so. Now for the yellow part of the pencil, I'm going to be mixing white puffy paint along with some yellow acrylic paint. For the sharpened part of the pencil, I mixed white puffy paint along with some yellow and this caramel color. It might look like this mustard color on camera, but you kind of want this light tan color. After three days of drying and three thick coats of each color, this is how it should actually look like. Alright, now it's time to paint on the details. So for the silver part of the pencil, I mixed white puffy paint with black acrylic paint to make gray. And for the tip of the pencil, I just used black acrylic paint. The final step is to turn it into a paper clip squishy. So I used these tiny little scissors to cut a little slit at the bottom of the pencil squishy. And there is a right and a wrong way to insert the paper clip. So here I'm showing you the wrong way to do it because if you insert it wrong, you won't be able to attach the paper clip to anything. Now that you know the right way to do it, just secure it all with some super glue. And that's how you make the pencil design. The next design that I'm about to show you is the YouTube logo design. Start off with this wide rectangular piece of foam and round off all four edges. Now for the play button, I'm just going to take this thin rectangular piece of foam and cutting it down into a triangle. And that's basically it for the cutting part. First, I'm going to paint the rectangular piece, so I mixed white puffy paint with some red acrylic paint. After that coat has dried, I painted on three more coats and here's what it should look like. Now for the triangular piece, I glued it on with some Elmer school glue. If you watch on YouTube all the time, then you should basically know what the YouTube logo looked like. So I painted on the triangle with some white puffy paint. It kind of looks messy right now, but don't worry, I actually fixed it off camera. And this is optional, I wanted to add a little kawaii face to make it less plain. Lastly, just add on the paper clip and make sure you insert the paper clip the right way. The 
the last design in this video is this earth design and this is perfect for using in history or social studies class. First, I started off with this thick piece of foam and I used the end of a puffy paint bottle and traced a circle onto the piece. Then just cut out the circle. After the circle has been cut out, I'm going to trim it down into a circular dome shape. Now to paint it, I used white puffy paint with blue and this green color. And basically paint the whole piece of foam. After three thick coats of that same color, now it's time to paint the other details. And by that, I mean the little continents, so for that I use white puffy paint with a variety of green color. But to be honest, I didn't really paint the exact continents, I just, you know, kind of went with the flow and painted weird um, shapes. After the whole thing has dried, I painted on a kawaii face, but again, this is optional. And to finish it off, I added a paper clip. And that's basically how you make all three designs. These are really great for organizing your papers because if you add a design on these plain little paper clips, you could tell which one you used it for. And you can also use it as bookmarks if you want to. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And comment down below which design do you like the most. Bye guys!